In this video, we're going to create a detail component that we can use as a standalone item, or we can use with the repeating detail component tool. For this assignment, we're going to use a brick as an example, because that works really well with the repeating detail component. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a couple reference planes. That will be the framework for the different pieces that we're going to use. And then I'll just add some dimensions to make sure I'm drawing it to scale. The overall depth of this is going to be 3 and 5 eighths. And we're going to have a 3 eighths inch grout joint. And a 3 and 5 eighths brick. So these are the two areas that we need to fill in. And to do that, we'll use a filled region. I'm going to use the rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle in the first box. And I just want to lock all these constraints to make sure nothing's moving around. And make sure we have the appropriate filled region type. So change it to brick. And I'll finish that sketch. Now it doesn't look like much because our scale is set to half inch, but if I changed it to inch and a half, we start to see more of the pattern. Now I'll go ahead and do the exact same thing. Uh, this time I'm going to use the masking region. And this will represent our, our grout. And I'll go ahead and lock those as well. And finish the sketch. Now if I wanted to have a heavier line for where the brick is, I can edit that boundary. And I can revise it instead of using detail items. I could use heavy lines, and I'll get a more pronounced brick here. Now, to make sure I have the draw order correctly, since I drew the brick first and the masking region second, I'm just going to go ahead and send the masking region to the back to make sure that the brick element is always on top of it. And that's how we create the detail component. Now I can load this into my project and I could use it standalone or I can add it to a detail that's already underway. And to do that, I can go in and I can use the repeating detail component tool. And all we need to do is make sure that we have it set appropriately. So here we have repeating detail brick and that works out well for us. So we'll go ahead and use that option. And I just need to use the appropriate detail component and make sure I have the spacing set correctly. So ours was four inches and hit OK. And now I just use a line to create that. And every time I hit that four inch mark, it's going to draw another one of the bricks. So I'll place it on top. And now I have the actual bricks shown instead of just a symbolic line.